you're wasting your time with your AutoCAD hatches. Hi there, I'm Irving, but you might know me as the Lazy Architecto for time-saving AutoCAD tutorials and tools for architects. Today, I'll share with you the techniques I use to work faster with AutoCAD hatches. I'll start by explaining some useful commands following by some system variables that control the behavior of hatches. Once you implement these techniques that I'm about to show you, you definitely will speed up your workflow in AutoCAD. Are you ready? So let's start with the technique number one. Here for this example, I want to copy a couple of these slides above this hatch that is representing an ACT ceiling grid. As you can see, this is a hatch. And look what happens if I just copy this over here. As you can see, I cannot place it. I cannot place it exactly because it doesn't allow me to snap on the hatch. So to change this behavior, Let's use the osnap hatch system variable and let's set it to 1. Once you do that, you can see that now you can snap on any hatch. So let's quickly go to the technique number 2. Let's change to this elevation drawing and let me zoom over here and if I use a hatch to hatch this area with a CMU and accept that using enter you can see that the hatch is going outside the area that I wanted to hatch it. So let me undo that and one of the reasons why this is happening is because the area to be hatched is probably open somewhere. But in order to speed up the hatching process and not waste time trying to find what is the issue or the gap, let's use a system variable that's going to help you hatch this even though it has certain gaps somewhere. So for this, let's use the HP gap to system variable and as you can see right now it's set it's set to zero that means all of the areas has to be that means any area that you're gonna hatch needs to be closed but if we set it up to one or two let me set it up to one and let's try again the hatch command by typing the h shortcut you can see that now it says continue and your hatch is now showing correctly. So if you click enter, so if you press enter, you can see that your hatch is now showing correctly. Just to show you what really happened is that this area has a gap of about one inch. So this is the technique I use to hatch any area even though it might have a small or tiny gap. So use it. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful too. So let's go now with the technique number 3. As you can see on this example, this hatch or CMU hatch origin point is not showing correctly. Most of the time in architecture you want to start your CMU blocks having an entire CMU block from the bottom and all the way up. But this case is not showing it like that. So, but this one is not showing correctly. So let me show you how to always have your origin point on the right place. For this, let's, for this let me go to this other area. And just to show you that this origin point always shows incorrectly, let me use the hatch command again. 
and as you can see it's showing half of the CMU block at the bottom so in order to avoid this issue let me share with you the technique I use to always have your origin point starting from the bottom all the way up so let me remove this and for this we're gonna use the system variable origin mode so bas basically this will control the origin point for your hatches so if I set it to 2 and now I use the hatch command again you can see that now your CMU block shows an entire block here from the bottom left corner so that's how I always like to show it so that's good let me fix the other one over here again if you use hatch and continue you can see that also is showing the origin point for the hatch correctly this time so again the system variable to control the origin point of hatches is HP origin mode and just to show you if I press F1 you can have these values over here from 0 to 5 so you can pick the origin that you need for your drawings so let me share with you now the AutoCAD hatch technique number 4 and this would be the HP layer so if you can see here the hatches that we were doing are coming in the wrong layer as you can see this hatch is on layer 0 as well as this other one so HP layer will help you set a default layer for any of your new hatches in AutoCAD let me show you how it works so let me remove this and let's type HP layer now you can specify a layer so for this case I'm gonna specify so for this example I'm gonna use the X hatch layer and now the next time I hatch something you can see that it will come on the layer X hatch in the same way you can also set up a color for your hatch using the HP color system variable so if we hatch again how to cut hatch tip number five as you can see here I have some objects that are behind this hatch and I could just use the draw order command to send this hatch to the back but I want to send all of the hatches to the back at once so for this there is a handy command related to hatching that is called hatch to back command and we can use it by using the shortcut HB so if you type HB and press enter you can see that all of your hatches are sent to the back automatically AutoCAD hatch technique number 6 let me share with you how to create quick custom hatches in AutoCAD so let me get rid of this hatch now and I'm gonna draw a circle now I'm gonna make this circle a block and specify a base point so once you create your so once you have your block you can get rid of it and let's use the super hatch command click block and use the block that you just created in this case circle and if I place it over here for a factor would be 1 
rotation zero is displacement correct yes and now it's saying specify the first corner of the block so i'll click here and over here now we can press enter and if we follow the instructions it's saying the specified internal point i'll click over here and press enter are you sure you want to do this yes and you can see that now your area was hatched using the block that you just created. AutoCAD hatch tip number seven. Let me share with you the most useful technique I use to manage and use hatches in AutoCAD. And this will be the tool palette. I'll open it by using control three and as you can see it's over here so i'm gonna lock it and basically if you add any hatch to this tool palette you can set it up you can set up any settings that you like for example if i remove this and go to elevation let's say i want to use this brick hatch if i click on it you can see that it automatically comes in the layer that I want, in this case, X hatch, as well as the correct scale, the correct origin point, and so on. And this is all set up here by using the right click on it and choose properties. You can see that you can set the default options for this specific hatch so you can set angle scale and so on remember that you can add any hatch to your tool palette by simply selecting it left click on it and dragging it to your tool palette you can then click and rename it as well as change the properties that you would like to use. And remember that I did a tutorial, an entire tutorial related to tool palettes and all of the techniques I use to save time in your AutoCAD workflow. So let me know in the comments if you knew any of these AutoCAD hatching techniques.